program, you know. Oh, uh, oh yeah, sort of. Um, I have a reference letter where I never actually use the word recommend. I don't want to be using that one for my students. But find us. Um, come to our offices. Come visit. Ask questions. Um, but anyway, uh, give us a break, too, because this is not Lord's. Um, I wish it were, but we're teaching block as well, and I'm teaching block, but I'm also doing other things. I've got other classes, and I've got um, other projects to work on, and people are saying, did you get my email? Did you get my email? Did you get this? And it's like, no, <laughs> not yet. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but um, I don't know which is worse, teaching it or taking it, no offense. But anyway, we've all had block, and we understand how you feel. So it's just, we get it. But use us as resources. You know, come by and see us. Um, nine is confidence. You can teach. You get those little hoofies on the ground, firmly on the ground. You've got the skills. The only thing you're lacking is experience. That's it. And you will be drawing on what you learned during these glorious years at USD. Um, and what you've learned, that is going to determine the decisions that you're going to make for the rest of your life. You're going to draw on those, um, that knowledge. And I want you to, to believe in yourself and also know that you're good. Tell me why you're good. Uh, people will always tell me why something went badly. But when it went well, they always say, oh, well, it was in the water. Or, oh, well, the kids were just good today. No, no, no. You did something well. What did you do? But I want you to believe in yourself, and I want you to be able to take constructive criticism. I know that's hard, but you know, no one's a perfect teacher. And once you start thinking you are a perfect teacher, get out. Um, no one's perfect. I've been teaching since 1981, and I'm still learning, and I'm still making mistakes, as you've obviously noticed from my classes. But um, if I make a mistake, I apologize. I fix it. I learn from it, and I move on, and I'm probably not going to make that mistake again. But um, do have confidence in yourself. You can do this. You can do whatever you want. You've got a degree. You can do this. You can do anything. And the last one's hokey, I know, but enjoy yourself. Um, your colleagues, your peers, your professors, we're all working together. Um, enjoy what you're uh, learning and experiencing right now. Uh, enjoy your classmates because you're not going to be together again. College is over, and you may earn more degrees, but college it's not the same thing college is not the same thing for graduate students um, graduate students take classes undergraduate students have the college you know the whole college experience is completely different not necessarily um, worse or better but it, it's different and um, you know next time you're going to be taking classes individually rather than with peers and in a group so do what you can to make block more pleasant for you. You, know, you yourself do something for you. Um, I bring food. Um, eat like pigs. That's, you know, <laughs> I teach at a horrible time, 3.30 to whatever, 10. I don't know. It seems like forever. No offense. But th I'm not at my best at 3.30. I can barely get out of this chair at 3.30. Um, so you know, it's a bad class time. I'm tired too. But I want to have the best class I, I can for my students. And so I bring food. And then for me, when I'm grading papers, which I have 8 million there on my computer, um, I will, this is terrible, but I will buy things on the Internet. I'll stop grading a few, I'll grade a few papers, you know, maybe 10 or 20, and then I'll move over and let's, let's see what's on, you know, what, what can I possibly spend um, money on rather stupidly? Or I will, um, or worse, I will think, hmm, what is something chocolatey that I could perhaps eat? Um, so, <laughs> or what other stupid thing can I do? But I do give myself little treats and rewards. But, um, you know, for most, for most of you, school's over and, you know, employment is ahead. And 
now's your time. So go. Go out of state. Go anywhere. Now's your time to, to do it. Just, you know, uh, later on when you get spouses and four-door cars and vans and kids and dogs, um, you're not going to be able to take off and go to school in California or go to school in Alaska or Vermont or wherever. But now most of you are young and single and the sky's the limit. So, you know, uh, think about what block can lead, lead to. Uh, when you go to the job fair, go. One of my former students um, teaches in Las Vegas during the day and deals blackjack at night. I'm saying there are many, many <laughs> opportunities for you. But, um, and probably the best thing about block is that it doesn't last that long. We've gotten it down from five weeks to mine. Mine is three. So just remember, you can do it. You can do anything for five weeks or three weeks or even a semester. So you'll be fine. But think of the positives rather than the negatives. Find one positive at least. That's really good. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. We've had a wonderful time chit-chatting with you. We'll be sure to come again soon.